New at 6, a woman is in custody accused of calling local pharmacies and impersonating a doctor. Fox 23's John Acebus is live breaking down the case of what is being called prescription fraud. Yeah, she used multiple different names to try and fill prescription medication until a doctor caught on to her. This is Angela Rogers, according to jail booking records. Sometimes these can fly under the radar for a while until somebody gets suspicious. According to court documents, she also used these patient names. Angela Williams, Toby Smith, Tammy Jones, Tanner Davis, Tanya Davis, Taylor Davis, all to get Medrol. It is a controlled drug, though, and, and it's still a crime, but it's not one that we would typically see. Court records show she called pharmacies saying this is Hannah with Dr. Long's office or this is Hannah, Dr. Long's assistant, and I need to call in a verbal order. The court documents say the doctor caught on to her and made a complaint to the Owasso Police Department. It also says Dr. Long was calling pharmacies to tell them to no longer accept phone calls from her office. Mark Woodward with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics says this happens more than you think. Obviously pharmacies uh, and law enforcement won't question every single phone call that comes in because calling in a script is quite common for for patients and court records show she did land some pills at multiple locations in 2022 and at other times she was denied at some of those same locations court records show that she came to this walmart in owasso and made a fraudulent purchase for a prescription when she came back outside she was met by agents and taken into custody they're fairly good at what they do um and they, they will try to look legitimate and and oftentimes they will try to use a pharmacy when they're calling in scripts for a doctor that that doctor frequently uses. Woodward says Rogers has been cooperative since being taken into custody. Woodward says they are appreciative of the doctor who called the police department and are asking pharmacists to be aware of people doing things like this. These alleged purchases happened between September and November of last year. She has since been charged with 11 counts of forgery of a prescription. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.